There's this growing worry about how explicit content could potentially shake up our lives in ways that we'd never imagined. And we're not just talking about whether it's easy to find or not, but also how intense it can be. This is something that could affect our romantic and intimate experiences in real life. Now, whether you personally like or dislike X-rated material is a whole separate issue. That's a question of morals and ethics, and it's really up to each person to decide for themselves, right? But when we talk about the effects of consuming this kind of content, we need to look at how our brains react. The key lies in dopamine. This essential chemical is produced and released by our brain whenever we encounter fun or enjoyable experiences. You can think of it as a happiness messenger within our brain. The more dopamine we receive, the happier and more exhilarated we feel. Now, certain activities or substances can cause a massive release of dopamine, like watching intense or explicit videos online, also known as X-rated content, or that good good. When our brains get used to these sky-high dopamine levels from watching videos like this, it can actually change how we experience pleasure. So, imagine you're trying to have a real life or intimate connection, which means that after a while, we need some more and more and more of the activity or substance to feel that same level of enjoyment. It's like genuine crack in a certain way. You need to keep upping the dosage in order to keep feeling something. It's kind of like how you need to turn up the volume on your headphones after listening to loud music for a while because your ears deafen themselves, literally. So... What can we do to keep our dopamine levels in check and make sure that we're still enjoying life to the fullest? Well, the key is balance and variety. We should make an effort to engage in a wide range of activities that make us happy, rather than focusing on one thing. Which could be anything from hanging out with friends, trying new hobbies, exercising, or even just learning something new. The more diverse our experiences, the more our brains are going to stay on their toes and keep us feeling good. Or scratch good, great. Another important aspect of dopamine is that it helps us motivate to achieve our goals. When we set up our sights on something that we want, our brain releases dopamine as we work towards it, chipping away towards whatever goal it is we've set, which helps us stay focused and helps us stay driven. So setting realistic goals and working towards them can be a fantastic way to maintain healthy dopamine levels and experience some kind of sense of accomplishment, which I'm sure, again, I don't need to tell you, feels pretty good. Remember, it's all about being aware of how our actions affect our brain chemistry and finding balance in our lives. When we mix things up, keep learning, and stay connected to the people and activities that make us happy, we'll be well on our way to enjoying a rich and fulfilling life and seeing life as the gift that it is. So let's get out there, let's explore some new things, huh people? Keep our brains happy, keep our brains healthy. The thing about addiction is that it can touch different parts of our lives, almost every part of our lives, even ones that we don't normally think about. Let's take a look at video games for a moment. These games are made to be fun and keep players returning for more dopamine, but when someone gets addicted to a game, they might find their ability to enjoy other things start to shrink. They end up only associating that one activity with good vibes and that dopamine rush. It's crazy how our addiction can make people lose that awesome dopamine rush from so many other parts of lives, like trying new things, chilling with friends, or getting some exercise. They might start losing interest in all those activities, and before they know it, they could end up feeling depressed. Dr. Andrew Huberman has talked about a lot of this kind of stuff. He emphasizes how important it is to be aware of how addiction can mess up our loving fun. I'm gonna say it again because it's, it's such an easy concept, but it's so hard to lose sight of. It's all about knowing our limits and making sure we're not pushing ourselves too hard in either direction. By keeping tabs on our dopamine levels and ensuring we're enjoying various activities, we can have that balanced life that I keep talking about over and over again. <laughs> The main thing to remember here is that we should be aware of how our brains deal with pleasure. You know, sometimes it's not just stuff like getting older. You know, like I, like I said, it, so many things can leave us feeling unenergized. Taking too many naps. There, there's a lot of ways. It's not just, oh man, I'm 27 now. I used to be 23 and be able to do all this stuff. It's like, it's... You gotta look at how you're living your life, and you have to live your life in a certain way that is designed to generate more energy for you. It's a, it's a weird concept, but it's, it's a true one. Maintaining healthy dopamine levels, it's really important for keeping that motivation consistent throughout the day, not having spikes whenever you do what you like to do. Dopamine, a crucial brain chemical, can fluctuate based on your actions, thoughts, even the food that you eat. Factors such as genetics, habits, big one on habits, sleep and nutrition, as well as your dopamine levels from previous days. 
play a role in determining your baseline dopamine levels. It's hard to think that Aristotle, somebody that lived so long ago, got one concept so right, that perfect balance between two traits, but he did. Striking the right balance is important in every aspect of life. And in this one, you need your dopamine levels neither too low nor too high. Dr. Andrew Huberman has shared some cool tips to help you maintain that perfect balance or dopamine. Trust me, they're easy to follow and they're suitable for anyone interested in optimizing their brain function. First off, let's talk, let's talk about a little about sunshine. Dr. Huberman recommends spending just 10 to 30 minutes in the morning sun to boost your dopamine for the day. It's simple, it's easy, it's great. Just don't wear sunglasses, but keeping your regular glasses or contacts on is totally okay. And remember, never stare at the sun. I am not your mom, I shouldn't have to say that, but yeah. yeah. Want to level up? Dr. Huberman suggests trying a quick one to three minute cold shower if you're up for the challenge. Might sound crazy, but it can actually really help increase your dopamine levels for hours. Now let's talk about a big one, food. You might have heard about tyrosine, an amino acid that helps your body create dopamine. Dr. Huberman advises incorporating tyrosine-rich foods, such as red meats, nuts, and aged hard cheese into your diet. Just make sure you're keeping a balanced diet and considering the calorie content of these foods. And if you're more into that plant-based stuff, no worries. A quick online search will give you loads of great plant-based options. You might not know that melatonin supplements can sometimes mess your dopamine levels 